Hi, and welcome to the Plasma Body, a new understanding of human biology. We are going to do part three, which is understanding how we can do lots of practical, uh, simple methods that, that we can do at home. Now that we've understood how the bone structure works, there are certain simple steps that we can do to increase our overall health. We've understood the bone structure and how important the bone structure is, how it is sort of fine-tuned by the brain in every little aspect. So one has to ask the question, what happens if we lose an arm or a leg in an accident? You know, what happens to the functions of, of that particular bone? And as we've seen with people that have lost limbs in accidents or whatever reason, they still continue to live a normal, healthy life. And what happens is the responsibility or the function of that particular bone is then transferred to other parts of the bones in the body. So this is all done by the brain. The brain decides, okay, I can find another bone in the body with a similar uh, bone structure or it will change the bone structure so that it can produce the feels uh, that the body needs in the place of the bone that has been lost. Now we've all uh, done a lot of our, uh, and, and read about sort of the drinking and how important it is to drink the CO2 gans water and the zinc gans water and just drinking the water off the top of the ganses. By drinking the water, the GANS water, you are sending the right energy package into the body. So it goes into our drink, it goes into our intestines. From the intestines, the energy, the fields from the, the water then gets transferred into our limb system and then from there into our bone marrow, which then affects the production of our blood. T cells and B cells, and, and you can see how it has an overall impact on the, the health of our body. So through the water, we are deciding a particular strength, whether we're drinking the CO2 or if we drink the zinc water, each one has a particular magnetic gravitational field strength. So we're dictating what energy is being placed into our body and then goes into our bone structure and affects our immune system. So as we can see, we come back to our, um, our circle, as we can see if we start at the intestines, so whatever plasma water we drink, be it the zinc or the CO2, uh, that field energy gets transferred into our lymph system and then from there, the bone marrow, because of its nanostructure, decides what it's going to be taking. And then this energy is then transferred into the blood, T cells and B cells, which supplies the rest of the body. So you can see how drinking the CO2 and the zinc water directly impacts the overall health of our body and how it can help the body to recover and re-energize itself. Again, when we look at the, the zinc, we can see how by drinking the zinc water, we also affecting the emotional part of our body through uh, the same process of, of uh, the fields going into the blood. And as we've also understood, the blood is the carrier of our emotions in the body. So by drinking the, the zinc uh, plasma water, we are helping the emotional part of, of our body, helping to give us the emotional strength that we can uh, help the body to overcome any diseases or illnesses that we might have. When we have an infection or a virus, um, we, we understood that uh, the blood will, will try and create the right uh, red blood cells, white blood cells to, to fight that virus. All this is decided by the brain. The brain gives certain instructions to the different parts of the bone in our body to create the right uh, 
gravitational magnetic field strength, so it makes the right adjustments in the bone structure so that it can pull in and create the right fields for our immune system, for the blood cells, for the T cells, the B cells, so that our body can fight off any infections. And as we've seen by drinking the CO2, GANS water and the zinc water, how that has an impact on our overall health. And so by drinking the waters, it will also help us to help the body to fight off any infections. It just gives the body the additional energy that it needs to, to overcome any of these infections. Now we've all been told and how important it is to be active um, and uh, to go for long walks. Uh, but we've got to understand how important and why the walking uh, makes us feel good and healthy. Every time we walk, the, the weight of the walking um, that we put onto our, our legs and the body, the speed at which we walk, um, this, the vibration creates, a certain vibration is created in the bones, in, in the strands of our bones, creating a specific gravitational magnetic field, or we can change the gravitational magnetic field in the nanostructures of our bones by the walking. And these gravitational magnetic field structures are then absorbing or extracting certain plasma gravitational magnetic fields from the limb of our body. So the walking creates this vibration in our bones, which helps the bones in extracting the fields from the limb system to create our immune system and the blood. And so the walking, the vibration helps to create this and creates that flow, increases the flow. And uh, this is one of the reasons why you know, the doctors never tell you to go for long walks, particularly older people, and try and walk as much as possible. When you think about it, when you were young as a kid, we were all running around and very, very active, and most of the time we were quite healthy. But as we get older, we don't walk as much, we're not as active, and we tend to then pick, start picking up a lot of diseases. And it's just the simple effect of walking and being active is one way of helping the body to maintain its health. The actual, the, the, the art of walking as well is, 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 is important in that when you're walking, you've got to put your, your heel down first towards your toe. So it's a typical walking heel toe. And it's this weight um, which we put the pressure onto the heel and to the toe. As I say, the speed that we do it all creates the vibrations in the bone. Um, creates these strands and, and puts compression on the nanostructure, which helps in the flow of the fields and uh, the, helps the lymph system to flow better within our body and in creating um, the blood and the T cells, B cells, and our immune system. Important thing is, is you can observe people and how they walk, and often you find people that are overweight or quite ill, uh, if you notice how they walk, they almost walk by shuffling, so they're not actually doing a heel-toe walk to create the right vibration. They walk very slowly on a flat foot, and so this does not create the right vibration for our bone structure. So one has to observe how people walk and you can see how the, that implica has a long-term implication on their health. Another important thing which I'm sure will be a lot of research done in the future is whether one walks barefoot or whether one walks with all these fancy shoes um, because your shoes with cushioning yourself and, and that sort of thing, what long-term implications does that have on our health um, as well, as you can see, because of the importance of our bone structure. So that's something to think of. This vibration and, and the impact that we have when we're walking is, is exactly the same when we have a look at our heart. Um, the heartbeat creates this continuous vibration, and this dictates the structure of the 
what goes through our, our bones or the ribs and what this, the bone structure in our spinal cord. And so that vibration is the same as the walking for our sort of leg, main leg bones. Your heart creates that right vibration for your rib bones and your spinal bones to create the right structure, to create the right energy so that it can absorb the feels from your lymph into your blood. The Gravitational magnetic fields of the bones also has a direct effect on how the lungs change the nitrogen into a condition of energy to be absorbed by the lungs. And so it's our breathing as well to ensure that the energy can cross the lung into the red blood cells. So the whole structure of the rib bones is again totally dependent on heartbeat, gravitational magnetic field strength, and how the how this all impacts each other another thing to look at which is quite um, popular and common these days is all the reflexology points and how the chinese medicine have looked at how each toe is then related to a particular organ within the body but we have to look at that in a bit deeper meaning in that we now have to look at the bone structure of that toe um, and how the bone in that toe again because of its its structure produces the, the right gravitational magnetic field strength to absorb the energy that that the particular organ needs we, we know with the reflexology points and certain points in our hands and our feet and these are all connected to our neural system within the body and say between the no, the toes and the fingers are all connected, but we have to add in this extra dimension now of, of the bones as well. How important the bones in connection with the neural system is there to create the right fields which are given and transferred to that particular organ. And again, if we lose a finger or a toe, the brain then automatically finds another bone near enough in the structure uh, to replace the work that that particular bone was doing in supplying certain fields to that organ. Another important point to remember is, is, is another exercise that we can do for ourselves and for other people is, is the technique of tapping. Um, when you look at particularly old people, um, they become very frail, they hardly walk, um, people become bent over and as I said people that are if we don't are not very active we become quite unhealthy and start developing all sorts of diseases it's the same with <clears throat> people that are particularly overweight they, they don't become they become very less unactive and so they are not creating the right uh, vibration in their bones to help with the immune system so this very simple technique of tapping can help to overcome that. And all that one needs to do is to you know, stand and tap your feet, your heel toe 30, 40 times a day, two to three times a day. And over time you will find because it's sending the right signals through your body to your bone structure and then through your bone structure, it's allowing the flow of the pills into your lymph into your blood creating your immune system how just the simple effect of, of tapping is creating the flow to for your body to change your overall health when a person cannot walk to create the right vibration in the bone structure then the magnetic field strength of the vibration of the bone changes and that change, as we've seen, brings about a change in the immune system um, and starts creating all sorts of long-term health problems. And as we've seen, people that live a very active life tend to live a very long life and are quite healthy. And it's just the simple fact that they are helping their body to create a, a healthy, healthy immune system. 
So the whole structure of the bone is in effect a nanofactory and it changes its position and size according to the environment and the instructions which are coming from the brain. So the brain decides how tall the bone is going to be, how short the bone is going to be, how wide or fat, all to create the right magnetic gravitational field strength to attract the field, certain fields from the limb system so that it can be used in our generation of our blood and immune system. And how everything all works together. Uh, we can't view things in isolation anymore. And how every impact, every part that we do has an overall impact on our health. So in summary, when we look at our whole bone structure, um, we are not just a skeleton that holds everything together so that we can stand upright. It's a very complex system, all managed by the emotional part of the brain. The bone structure itself is constantly changing, moving to create the right conditions, nanostructure to interact with the fields. And we've seen how this interacts with the fields so that we can create the bone marrow and from the bone marrow we create the blood, the T cells, the B cells, which then flows through the body creating a healthy system. So we've seen how drinking the CO2 and the zinc water how that impacts the overall health of our body. We've seen how the walking and the tapping has an impact on our body as well to create a, a healthy immune system and how the emotional part of the brain also has then an impact on our overall health. So all of these cannot be viewed in isolation. They have to be viewed in sort of the totality of our healthy body. And it's a very simple understanding and, and very simple ways that we can take charge and of our body and simple ways to increase our immune system and overall health of our body. Now, the information that we have presented in these three parts is only a small summary of the information that is available in the health workshops of the Keshe Foundation. And so we recommend that you please do your own research to go and research some more and understand more about the plasma biology and how our body really works. And there's the two websites, keshefoundation.org and kfsi.org. And thank you very much. And we hope that you have enjoyed this presentation on the skeletal system and how important our bone structure really is for our overall health. Thank you.